Sure, God bless you, sister. God bless you. They'll be blessed. 30 to 60 to 100 for which we're not out here for money. We just want to give you the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we want your soul to be saved. Because hell is a <laughs> hell is a place of weeping and gnashing of te teeth, a, tor a tormenting place. Hell is a tormenting place. And once you're there, you can't come out. You can't call on the name of Jesus in hell. God bless you. And God don't want you there. He don't want them. Hell is not created for us. God did not just create hell for us. He created a way out of hell. He, he, he brought a way out of hell. And the way is Jesus. Jesus said in, in John 14 and 6, he said that I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. And no man comes into the Father but my, by me. So God don't want you in hell. He didn't create hell for you. It was created for Satan and his angels, his demons. So let me tell you. God didn't create hell for you. Again, I say, he created Jesus. He, he, he caused a way out of hell. And the Bible says that Jesus was with him in the beginning. In the beginning was the word in the way. Today is the day of salvation. Please come to Jesus while you have a chance. Please come to Jesus while you have time because one of these days you're not going. There are people, I will always say it so that you can get this picture in your mind. There are people that is in the grave right now that cannot repent. There are people that are in hell right now that cannot call on the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus Christ don't have no power in hell. I tell you today, the name of Jesus Christ has all power. But once you get in hell, you can't call on his name to get you out. Because hell is separate from God. Even though every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. Every knee should bow on earth and under the earth and in the heavens. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. But once you're there, you done had, hallelujah, you done had all your chances to get it right with God. You have a chance today to get it right with God. You have a chance today to repent. Don't blow your chance. Don't blow your chance on a pretty face. Don't blow your chance on a money, God bless you, opportunity. Don't blow your chance to get right with God. God bless you. Don't go, don't go, don't blow your chance to make it right with God. Hallelujah. Don't blow your chance because you're working, you're too busy. That's, that's a trick of the devil right there. That's why we work the way we work. That's why we're working eight hours, 12 hours a day and don't even get a, a, a Sunday off or, or don't get this off and don't get, get that off. That's why the enemy got you working, wearing you out. And so you don't have time to think about your salvation. But today you got time. I tell you today, hallelujah. I'm telling you today. I'm telling you today. Jesus is, Jesus, the word of God is going out today. The word of God is going forth. Repent, or you likewise will perish. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent, therefore, and have your sins blotted out. Repent. Turn from sin. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your adultery. Turn from your fornication. Turn from that addiction. Turn from homosexuality. Turn from it right now. Because that very thing can take you to a place you don't want to go. And hell is not a place where everybody just party all day. Because some people have them, uh, the, the cartoons and the media make you think that hell is a fun place. But it's not. Hell is a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth and everlasting torment. God bless you, brother. God bless you. So I'm telling you, repent so that you don't have to go there. He don't want you there, but if you live your life without God and cursing God, 
And if you die in that state, it, it's not gonna be get good for you. You won't have another chance. Once, once, <laughs> once the spirit leaves the body, you don't have another chance. Once you step into the realm of eternity, there is no other chance. Hallelujah, bless you. Hallelujah, once you are in that grave, once you're in that casket and then, hallelujah, they put the casket in the vault and then they seal the vault and then they put you in the ground. You can't come from back from that. You can't praise God from the grave. You can't repent from the grave. So I tell you, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to repent and come to Jesus, come to God. While there's still time, come to God, come to Jesus, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him from the dead and you'll be saved. He is the one who died on the cross for, you, for the forgiveness of your sins. No other God has taken the sins of the whole world upon themselves and died so that you could be redeemed because <laughs> death could not hold him. Hallelujah. Death could not hold the Son of God. Hallelujah. He was in the, the belly, the heart of the earth for three days. And on the third day, an early Sunday morning, he rose. Hallelujah. Jesus is a risen Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is risen. You know that Easter message that they... Jesus...